ironic that Harper and Netanyahu met under the peace tower with a military gun salute. <laughs> but it's not really ironic because for them war is peace and peace is war. They have no distinction between them. The question is, what will this war look like on Iran? that they're planning. We've seen the more than one million people in Iraq massacred. We've seen a society blown to pieces. We've seen the devastation there. We've seen tens of thousands of people massacred in Afghanistan. If we want to see the face of the people of Iran that Netanyahu and Harper wish to attack. Go see the Academy Award film for the best foreign film, A Separation. It is a little bit significant that the Oscar would be given to an Iranian film which presents a situation in Iran which is totally familiar to anybody in this country in the personal drama. And it brings home the truth that the people who are the victims of these wars are the people who look like you and me, regardless of the color of the skin, regardless of the clothes they may wear, regardless of the language they speak, they are the common people of the countries we are waging war on or hope to wage war on. Netanyahu has a special plan in relation to the war on Iran. It is a war against Iran, but it is also an opportunity, if this war proceeds, to drive out another three million Palestinians from the West Bank and Gaza, where they live now under occupation. But the goal of the Israeli regime is ethnic cleansing. No Arabs and all the land. That's always been their goal from the beginning of the Zionist project to today. And the more chaos there and war there is in the Middle East as a region, the more opportunity for them to do this. The last point I want to make is this about war. We always say, the government always says, it's making war to help the people of the country it's attacking. So let's say I'm Vladimir Putin, and I'm going to be, for sure, the next leader of Russia. Now, I understand what fraudulent elections are, and I see that they've had one in Canada. And I understand what spying on people is, and I see that they're introducing all kinds of laws to do this in Canada. And I understand about keeping people in prison, and I see that Canada is expanding its compulsory imprisonment of the most destitute and oppressed people in this country. So I think I should help the Canadian people by waging a war against the government of Canada to liberate the people of Canada from the kind of religious fanaticism which characterizes this government for the spying it's doing, for the fraudulent elections, 
What would people in Canada say? No. Fuck off. No more. <laughs> we don't want you. This is our struggle. We will change the situation in this country. So it's the people of Iran who can deal with the government of Iran. It is an oppressive government, of course. But it will not, those people will not have their interest advanced by Israeli war making, American war making, Canadian war making on them. So we should say, let the people of each country transform their own society. We stand together in solidarity with people. We stand together with people against their oppressive governments and we stand against foreign interference in the affairs of other people. Thank you. Yeah, no,